Young Drunk Box, a.k.a. Mr. Moore, shine himself. Ladies and gentlemen, it's crazy out here in New York City, man. A lot of snow, snow ice, and uh, let me shoot this video right quick, y'all. But um, first and foremost, man, prayers to the people in Ukraine, men, women, and children. It's crazy, man. The world could be so devilish, man. The world could be so devilish. Um, shout out to also Vic the Postal, man. And pray for his wife and kids that's out there trying to stay safe. I don't know how he's going to get in that ring with a, with a clear head. It's going to be impossible for him to have a clear head. And to go fight a dangerous, a dangerous opponent like Gary Antoine Russell. A very dangerous opponent in the 140-pound division. Victor Postal, Victor Postal know how to hold his own, um, even though that he lost to, he lost three times, but he lost to Bud Crawford, which was a, a, a competitive fight. Lost to Jose Ramirez, in which it was a competitive fight, and and Josh Taylor. So, ain't no easy, ain't it, this ain't no easy, easy fight for Gary Antoine Russell. I think this is the fight, this is the coming out party for him. Um, but knowing the circumstances, the unfortunate circumstances. Of what's going on the, on you in Ukraine and uh, Victor Postal's mindset. We already know that man. He got a, he got prestige skills, um, prestige amateur background. I just saw his face. You know the way he was talking uh, with the with the interview with Fight Hub. Man, I don't know if he should be in the ring though, man. But if we just go by the technically wise and just uh, you know. Break it down without having, you know, breaking it down without his 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 emotional stress, uh, his mental drain right now with, with a lot of things that's happening out there. Skillfully, man, I think that he should be holding his own, but the evolution of the Russell, this is the evolution of the Russell right here. Gary Antoine Russell is the evolution of the Russell family, and he's a very dangerous, he got speed, he got power. Victor Postal got great skills. I think that he's going to give him some type of looks that um, Antoine Russell haven't seen in the professional level. But I think um, Gary, Ru Gary, Gary Russell, Gary Antoine Russell is very well equipped to handle anything that Victor Postal is going, is going to throw his way. Remember, Antoine Russell is also Olympian. So I see a great fight. I see great chess match in the beginning. But then I think that the athletic and the natural ability is going to be take, is going to take over. Um... Gary Russell Jr. Again, he's big, he's strong, he's the strongest of the uh, of the Gary uh, of the of the Russells, and I think he's gonna be a real force and reckon to uh, 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 in the 140 pound division. You know what I'm saying? The 140 pound division is a very dangerous division with the likes of Josh Taylor, who's the undisputed. Still, Jose Ramirez is up there. It's still a dangerous division. We got young fighters like 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 Gary Russell and we and Brandon and and Brandon Lee. Um, Regis Pro Grace is still out there dangerous. I think a fight with him and Josh Taylor is still dangerous. You got Teofimo Lopez that just moved up. We saw Jose Cepeda. Um, so it's a very dangerous division. And more fighters from 135 eventually going to be moving up. I mean, we've seen, uh, we seen um, Javante Tan Davis fight Mario Barrios out there in the 140 pound division. So I'm going to tell you like this 140 pound division is a very, a very intriguing and dangerous division. And if you're not prepared, if you don't got no pop, I don't think you're going to be ready for 140 if you're stepping up. Now, uh, again, Victor Postal is going, it has a legitimate jab, got good good movement, good precision. But I just think right now, where where Antoine is at, he's just got all the tools in the toolbox to, to, to beat um, Victor Postal. But that's my prediction. Um, Gary Russell Jr. going to win by stoppage. I believe that this time, I, uh, it, it's either it's either Victor Postal really gonna fight. It, it's only it's really gonna go in there with with a type of motivation, but I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Maybe 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 we see him fight, like if he's fighting out there in the Russians. You know what I'm saying? Oh um, man, man, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Hope everything. Hope God is 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 you know present itself. The spirit of God, you know, present itself to the to the evil people. And they stop doing what they doing. Um, but it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be in the Chris Colbert fight. And I'm going to break down that Chris Colbert fight in another video. But I got um, Gary Antoine Russell winning. And I know a lot of people is rooting for Victor uh, Victor Postal. Uh, because of the, 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 the unfortunate circumstances. But that's my, that's my breakdown.
And God bless each and every one of y'all. Have a safe Friday. Of course, I might probably go live later on. And we're going to be talking about boxing, baby. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Boxing is great right now. And I'm happy to be a fan. I'm a happy fan. Love y'all. God bless. And on to the next.